you all are safe and fine now today we are going to continue our unit 1 definition of economics now in order to know learn the definition of economics first we know it to know the meaning of economics so what is the meaning of economics we have already studied that economics studies deals with the study of economic activities that is production distribution exchange investment and consumption now we have already completed what economic activities are and what are non economic activities we have studied in detail and i hope you all have must have gone through the previous video and you must have understood the concepts in detail now here to know the economic definition we should know the meaning that is economic deals with the study of economic activities that is production distribution exchange investment and consumption it is a effort put by man to satisfy his unlimited wants with limited resources Which one has to be satisfied first? So this. 
creates the problem of choice. So here, Adam Smith in his book, he gave us the prescribed definition of economics. Not only Adam Smith, other economists also gave their definition, gave their views on what economics is. They have different defined economics in different ways in their books and in their sciences. Now here we will be seeing how economics, how the nature and scope of economics is along with the definitions of the economists, give their definitions given by different economists. Now this definition of economics is given by various economists and they are of different names. That means first is wealth definition, second welfare definition, Third is scarcity definition and fourth is growth definition. Now these four definitions are defined by different economists and wealth is defined by Adam Smith who is the father of our nation and welfare is given by Alfred Marshall. by the Nobel Prize winner Professor A. Samuelson. So these are the four economists who have defined economics in four different ways. Adam Smith regarded economics as wealth of the nation. Alfred Marshall has regarded economics as welfare. Welfare means for the benefit of the people. Whatever we are doing for the benefit of the people is called as welfare. Now what Consumer, how it has been distributed and how it is going to be consumed. So what is the main 
the tangible good so what are tangible goods which can be measured in quantities what are the goods we are producing like for drinks or uh, any other commodities which are being produced and are sold in the market in tangible are like air sunlight it cannot be measured and services of the doctors services or like doctors air natural things sunlight and all are in tangible goods so these are all
robbers as scarcity and in year 1932 and here we have the growth definition this is given by professor a samuelson in year 19 documentation which is attached for the previous session of definition of economics you can go through the def uh, documents presented here and here is the meaning of economics what are the meanings and all how it has been derived all these have been given here this is the meaning you have to uh, write in your class first and this is a def four definitions like wealth definition welfare scarcity and growth now here there are four economists adam smith alfred marshall leonard robbins and professor a samuelson next here we have the wealth definition which is given by adam smith the adam smith book wealth of nations he has defined it as an inquiry into the nature and causes of wealth of nations now so here the features of the wealth definition is also given then your criticisms of wealth definition how it has been criticized by alfred marshall the next we have welfare definition given by alfred marshall and its definition like economics is the study of mankind in the ordinary business of life it examines a part of individual and social action which is most closely connected with the attainment and with the use of the material requisites of the well being thus it is on one side a study of wealth and the other and more important is the study of man next here we have the important features of the welfare definition here are the criticisms of the welfare definition how it has been criticized by lionel robbins Then next we have the scarcity definition given by Lionel Robbins. Then how it how it is described in his book and his essay on the nature and significance of economic sciences. And what he has defined economics is the science which studies human behavior as the relationship between ends and scarce means which have alternative uses. Then how what are the features? Human wants are unlimited, means are scarce, alternate uses of scarce resources. And we have the main important problem of choice. Next here we have the superiority of Robert's definition. Then we have the criticisms of scarcity definition, which is given by Mrs. John Robinson. Then next we have the growth definition given by Professor A. Samuelson. He was a Nobel Prize winner in the year 1970, and he was he has given his definition as economics the study of people and society choose with or without the use of money to employ. scarce and productive resources which would have alternative uses to produce various commodities of the time and distribute them for consumption now or in future among various people and groups in the society it analyzes the benefits of improving patterns of resource allocations now here are the important points of the growth definition 
Thank you children. You have to enroll everything in your class works.